Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Som Jit. Today I'm going to stir fry beef with snow peas. So I have 200 gram of beef slices, about 100 gram of snow peas, one tablespoon of tapioca flour, one teaspoon of black pepper corn, one tablespoon of Chinese cooking rice wine, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, quarter teaspoon of sesame seed oil, four cloves of garlic chopped, one nap of ginger cut into thin slices, and quarter teaspoon of salt. I have some water here. So I'm going to start off with um, marinate the meat first. So Just put the meat in here. And I'm going to put in all the salt. You don't want to put too much salt because the soy sauce and oyster sauce is quite salty. It's going to be so quick and uh, easy. I'm going to put it aside. And here I'm going to mix all the sauce. Here, light soy sauce, Chinese cooking rice wine, sesame seed oil, oyster sauce. And I'm going to mix it. So I'm going to put it aside. And next I'm going to uh, grind the peppercorn. Just crush them. I don't want to pound them, I just crush them like that. We just want to have it a bit flaky. Okay. So we get this much of pepper and I am going to put some on the meat. And marinate it. Okay, and the tapioca flask, I'm going to just take um, just a bit of from here, put in the meat and marinate the meat with the flour a bit so we can, it help in, you know, for the meat to be soft a bit, not too hard. Alright, marinated all the ingredients and I have about 3 tablespoons of water here, so I'm going to mix it with the flour. Alright, that's done. So we can go and cook it now. I'm going to put about 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. So oil is hot now. I'm going to put in all the garlic. We're going to fry the garlic until it becomes brown and fragrant. When the garlic has released a nice aroma, I am adding in the ginger now I'm adding in the meat when the meat is about going to cook. I'm going to put in the sauce that we prepared. Put all of them in. Meat, they cook very fast. If cook too long, they're going to become very tough. So I'm going to put in the vegetable. Just add on a bit of the pepper, the balance of the pepper. I don't want to put them all yet. I'm going to cover the lid and let it cook for another um, one minute. So the beef is cooked, the vegetable is cooked. I'm going to taste it now. Mm. Lovely. It's enough taste. I don't have to add anything else. So last I'm going to add in the flour, the pickle flour water and just stir. So we have the gravy become thickened and then that's it. 
We are done. Let's switch off the heat. And we can serve it right away. This kind of dish, immediately after cook, we serve. It's going to be very nice. So we have a bit of black pepper. So we want to just put in a little bit on top. Isn't that look so delicious? Wow, it's so delicious. The meat is really tender and the vegetable is so crunchy. And the gravy has the fragrance of the pepper as well as the ginger. Overall combination of the ingredients, perfect. Really nice. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more of my cooking videos like this. Thank you and bye-bye.